Well, clearly it's captured the imagination of women in particular. A lot of people are just so excited. I don't know that I've ever uh, experienced something quite like this. It's accessibility to all of these diverse different types of women. Diverse audiences are seeing themselves in these characters. Somebody has experienced this situation. We all have a story. These are real stories. Looking at people differently and saying that person has a story, that person is valuable. And I think ultimately people respond to stories like that. We're all one step away from an infraction, aren't we? Just one mistake changing your life. When I went in for the audition, what jumped off the page was, oh, I know her. And that so seldom happens in a career. I'd say it's happened three or four times in my life. Oh, I get this. And then when I opened my mouth, she came out like that. On the page, it said, light Russian influence. I didn't understand that, and neither did the red in my imagination. And out came this woman, fully formed already in my imagination. I thought it was pronounced the other way. I was just like, Oh, well, it's going to be an interesting phone call to my parents. I didn't even audition for this part initially. I auditioned for another part. They called me back and they were like, we have some really good news for you. They'd like to offer you another role. And I was like, OK, what's the part? And they were like, crazy eyes. I'm like in my mind thinking like, what in my audition did I do that made you think crazy eyes is the right part for me, you know? Um, but when I read the script, it was like the most perfect I was working another job, I worked in a hospital, and um, I came into audition in Scrubs. So I walk in there and I remember reading the line, I don't f dudes for Big Macs. And then I'm like, who am I speaking to again? And they're like, your mother. And where am I again? In jail. Okay, and there's nudity? Okay, this is gonna be a ride that I will never forget, definitely. I think that there are real people. You know, I think that there are real people in situations where, at least when I read it, it's like, I can imagine one wrong turn. Everybody's relatable enough, so you really kind of put yourself in the center of it. She's sneaky, she, and, but she's really smart, you know, and she uses her feminine wiles to get what she wants, but also she fell in love with Piper and, you know, she got really hurt, so you see her be vulnerable. It's pretty cool. I think for Sophia, she's worked, she says it, she's like, she's, she's sacrificed her entire life, her freedom, her family, you know, $80,000 to be the person she always knew that she was. And as she sees that slipping away, it's, it's deeply painful. It's a really satisfying thing to feel like the thing that you're so proud of becomes the thing that's also so popular is I think probably a very rare occurrence for most people, even in very long careers. You usually seemingly like get you know, one or the other, unless you're like, you know, Kate Blanchett, then you just feel like this all the time, and that must be great. She's definitely like, totally opposite for me, and sometimes I'm like, man, I wish I was just cool and unapologetic. It's been fun to kind of, sort of just get to be just rotten. When there's a lot of women, a lot of times we can assume that there's cattiness there, and that really doesn't exist on our set, you know what I mean? I'm not saying that might not one day, but right now it's all chummy. We always sing on set, like, we will just, especially like Laverne too, like she'll start twirling, and like, when we have the, our cuts, you know, it's a lot of fun. We just start making up medleys in our head and little doodles and stuff. It's really, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's funny, I've been on a lot of TV and film sets where we're actors sing. It really kind of frees you up and it's a great like sort of just an uninhibited kind of practice between takes. Naughtiness on this set of 35 women? Naughty! What do you mean by naughty? I mean, it makes me feel like I'm in like a British, like one of those things where they're in the hallway and Benny Hill is running around. What do you mean naughty? They're all bad. Laverne Cox, terrible. I'm not naughty. What is she talking about? I'm a good Christian girl from Mobile, Alabama. <laughs> Danielle Brooks, terrible. Impossible. Taylor, too. It's often, often naughty. Do you want me to tell you who's particularly naughty? Natasha Leo. She's famous for it. You can't lie to Kate Mulgrew in real life either. It's just something about her. It's like she's going to see right through you. So, you end up telling her a lot of filthy things. The fan response has been, has been fun. Um, a lot of people dressed up for, for me as Halloween. I thought that was kind of funny. I just hear a lot like, you know, I, I lost three days of my life to you. Thanks. <laughs> and that kind of thing. I ran the, um, 
the New York Marathon and people running, yelling from the sidelines, like, go crazy eyes. I was like, really? I remember one, I was in the park. I went to sit down on a bench and these girls came up and one of them recognized me and the girl was like, you have to sign my pants. Sign my pants. And she would not leave me alone until I signed her pants. So I signed them and then I took a picture because I was like, this is pretty awesome. This never happens. Orange is the new black chicken. Take one. <laughs>